Well, good morning, everybody. That's Bob at Greybeard Models. And I'm going to start something new. And I'm going back to what I feel comfortable in, which is aircraft. And I'm going to make a start on this particular beauty. If I can get the glare to stop on on the box, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to make a start on this. Um, I've got a couple of bits of video that I shot um just before christmas i think um that uh that i'll run through and add into what we're doing at the moment but uh this is what we're building now so buckle up and uh have a look see how we get on cheers i don't really want to do another unboxing um loads of people have done it already but one of the things you want to do is go through the parts in the kit and let's go straight to the to the real first problem in, the, in, the, in this particular kit now the first problem I think is this one this is the main cockpit floor and unfortunately it's incorrect um, this I believe is way too high um, this edge here it's squared off but actually in reality it was rounded off um, that um, I'm not sure about the accuracy of that again that looks looks a little bit wrong to me but you know we can look at that <clears throat> the only other the other thing is the instruments this is the main instrument panel and curiously they don't give you any decals and the molding on this is is okay but it's wrong because it's square you know the, the face of it's vertical and that's that's not quite right <coughs> and if you fit that in this position here on this part I haven't looked at exactly how that fits but it doesn't look right anyway um, gonna need to you're gonna need to do something about that so the first thing that you're gonna need is something to do with the whole point of this kit put all these bits back together and very very careful about this and putting this away and I don't want it all to get scratched or anything so the first thing you need first thing you're going to need is this little puppy the instrument panel upgrade for the Avril Anchor stuff produced by ESCO and uh, this one is the absolute nut everything's done in uh, whoop, try and get a glare off sorry about that if I take it out of the bag then I need that really are going to need that to make make that instrument panel work properly lots of people have done this online um, how to do it how to make it make the most of it um, Nigel's modeling bench has done a great build of that um, that's the first thing you're gonna need I'd just like to uh, introduce you to Robert Morosky think that's how you say it my apologies Robert if that's wrong um, the pilot seat for the 132nd um, nose art kit by Hong Kong models and the 132nd Lancaster from Hong Kong models um, it's not very good um, and the whole cockpit area is pretty poor in 
um, parts and detail. Um, and I was put onto this particular gentleman, Robert Morozowski, um, by Nigel's modelling bench, and uh, got in touch with, the, had a check on the website, and uh, which is pretty good. It's um, uh, robertmorozowski.com, and ordered this set. It's not cheap, and um, well. If you have a, have a look at some of the parts, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of itching to get the parts out and, and have a look. Um, they are so, so good. They're 3D resin, um, acrylate resin parts. And they are absolutely phenomenal. Um, I know that, you know... Um, these 3D printed stuff is, is pretty good. I'm actually bloody scared to pick it up. But that's the control quadrant um, for the pilot um, compared to the to the kit part. This is leagues ahead, absolute leagues ahead. Um, this is one of the trim wheels. Um, again, the detail is phenomenal. Um, and that's what you're paying for. Um, oh God! Um, all sorts of different parts of the the cockpit are here. Um, the armor plating behind the pilot. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, armrests for the seats. I think I think that's what they are. I think there's some armrests in the raised position. Um, absolutely brilliant parts oxygen bottle um, I don't know if I can get the camera to focus on this the detail on this is, is absolutely phenomenal I don't, I don't know I don't think my camera is that good there we go it's, it's absolutely Super, super impressive. Um, amazing. Zoom back out again. Um, it, it, the pumps are just phenomenal. Um, if you're building the 132nd scale um, kit, either the uh, HKW. Sorry. Uh, HKM, sorry, um, or the nose art kit, which is what I'm going to be building. Um, I think this is a must. Um, <laughs> I don't know what parts to look at next. Let's have a look at this part here. The instrument panel in in the Hong Kong models kit is renowned for being inaccurate and not very good. Um, Robert suggests using the air scale parts. God, I don't want to break any of this. Um, but he, he, what he provides is, is brilliant actually. He recommends using the air scale instrument panel. And if I can get this out without breaking something, um, here we go. Um, he provides the back. <laughs> Get it out and come out the back, please. Right, okay. Right. He provides the rear of the instrument panel. Um, if you look at, it's just phenomenal. Uh, if you know, if, you, if you're looking inside the cockpit of the Lancaster up through the Bomhamer's window. You can see the back of the control, uh, the instrument panel, pilot's instrument panel. Two options on control stick. Wow. Okay. So the first stage of uh, <coughs> the build of the uh, nose art kit. Um, essentially, it would have you building the um, 
pilot seat and all the internal details for the cockpit however there's a couple of things that need to be sorted out first and foremost um, in section 13 and section 14 uh, it indicates that some holes let's get that all into shot uh, some holes need to be drilled in the fuselage halves to accommodate the trolley stand that they provide and uh, it's a case of making sure that we've got the right hole centers drilled out so having cleaned up the two fuselage halves here and just checking checking at the moment this is just a dry fit just to check all the alignments and making sure that you know the two halves go together and one of the things that, that I found straight away was that where I tape the two halves together here at the top of the, the fuselage is a there's a little bit of a mark so that needs to just be re uh, needs to be sanded out um, but yeah all, all of the parts are, are there and having built the base for the trolley I've now got the hole centers that I need to know about and make sure that I'm drilling out the right hole centers and uh, so what I needed to do is find out <coughs> what size hole I needed to put in there the instructions don't tell you so I've got the part which is, is like a post with a, a clip on it or a, a pin on it that goes into the hole um, got a vernier gauge just to measure that diameter there and it's about 1.28 so the hole would probably be <coughs> 1.3 um, millimeters in diameter <coughs> excuse me but one of the things I found as I'm looking at it or checking the parts this particular pillar there is actually a short shot right there and it hasn't got the pin and it's not only not got the pin I hope this sort of comes into focus in the camera um, but it's also a bit short shot on the side so that will need to be repaired which is an extra piece of work I didn't necessarily want but it, it, it is a piece that, that will need to be repaired so what I'll do is um, is get that down to a flat and then drill out enough to put a piece of either a piece of sprue or a piece of brass rod in there um, just to act as a as a pin like on that one but uh, these things are sent to tries aren't they <laughs> so onwards be back shortly so I've uh, now cleaned up both sides or all, all three sides of the fuselage including the clear one um, drilled out the fixing holes for the stand on all, all three parts of the fuselage as it were at the moment um, anything that I do on this one um, I'll mirror on that one so it'll, it'll all sort of you know making sure that if, if something goes wrong with one I can go to the other um, but yeah this is this is you know, I mean that these parts now need a clean um, so I'll give them a wash in warm soapy water and uh, that's uh, that'll be that for for this section I think so we've actually got the first part of the instructions here from Robert and uh, cut out that first section and in, inserted that bit so that's that's now done so that part that part is now in place um, the fits pretty good um, just put a, a thin line of uh, filler along there just to just to 
you know just to hide the, the seam a bit really but uh, yeah that's that's all done there might be another little bit of filler there just to tidy that edge up but uh, that's the first stage done so uh, that's a point a good point to uh, to end now um, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again soon cheers bye bye <laughs>